A man is trapped inside this concrete grain elevator in Fremont Sunday. Crews spent almost seven hours at Interstate Commodities searching for its employee, 32-year-old Zane Fecht. You know, the sad thing is a preventable accident. That's the tragedy. Captain Jamie Meyer with Fremont Fire was one of the rescuers who found Fecht's body. He says Fecht did not have a harness or rope when he went inside this 130-foot elevator to break up the beans and corn. Co-worker found that he was, uh, went back to check on him and reported that he was missing. He couldn't find him. Monday, the Fremont Fire Department trains on grain bin rescues that have been scheduled for months. Nick Gangwish with Metropolitan Community College Fire Science Program says the number of incidents at grain facilities is on the rise. He thinks it has to do with more bins being built and more moisture compacting what's inside. They got the potential for bad air where uh, uh, they can go unconscious due to the low oxygen content. There could be pesticides in there so they could get poisoning from that. Uh, they're also confined spaces so if they do have some type of medical emergency or traumatic injury inside these spaces it can be very difficult to get them out. Gangwish says about nine people have died in similar incidents this year in Nebraska and Iowa. He says there needs to be more training and awareness. They need to follow what's called the uh, OSHA grain handling standard and there's a series of rules and regulations that they're supposed to be following and have in place uh, to keep their employees safe. Next, OSHA has six months to investigate and determine whether interstate commodities violated any regulations. The company tells me it is working closely with investigators and is sending its thoughts and prayers to Zane Feck's family. Live in Dodge County tonight, Chin Doan, KETV News Watch 7. <laughs>